But in, you were here one night and the service from up in maybe Live Oak, Florida. That's right. Never seen you before till then. Yes. Prayed for you. And I believe for years and years you was hooked on the booze. That's right. Come here and prayed for you and God delivered you. You got a wonderful, beautiful deliverance that night and went on with God. That's wonderful. Hallelujah. And I, I was looking at that's been a good while ago. That's right. You love the Lord. I do. Mama's prayers has run you down. They've overtook you. And they're still with you. Granny's prayers are for you. And they haunt you at the hours of night when you don't walk with Jesus. And, but you love God. You want another touch. You've come in this place tonight to get you another touch. I prayed for you and God delivered you. And you went off and, and come back the next Sunday night in a brand new suit of clothes. That's correct. Cleaned up. No more wine bibbing, no more booze tapping, but just alive. Would you, would you tell anybody that's on the booze, get off of it because it hit no good. That's true. Jesus loves him. <laughs> Keep going with God. I'm praying for you. I just wanted to be sure you was the right guy. The Holy Ghost told me that it was you sitting back there. Oh, hallelujah. That's you. Am I right? That's right. Well, you, do you love me? Yes. Do you love the Lord? Yes. Praise God. Give him a good clap offer tonight. Keep coming, brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come here, sister. While I'm moving tonight, come here just a moment. You. Yes, come here just a minute. I want a good live testimony from you. And I know you've got it. I went over one of the hospitals the other day, local hospitals, and walked into the gift shop. And the lady said, hey, Brother Dobbs, in the gift shop, she said, there's a lady went out to your church and got saved and said, she's turned this hospital upside down. I said, man, that's all she talks about. Amen. Boy, she come here. And when she got in, she got in. And when she got saved, she got saved. Hallelujah. Find your parking place. Amen. Give the Lord a good clap offer. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Now listen. Listen to me careful. You women tonight, and you're in here. You was on, hooked on the booze. Yes. But when you found God in this church. I turned it loose. You turned it loose. Turned it loose. No more booze. No desire for it. No desire. Boy, you got on fire shouting the victim, praising the Lord. Amen. Now listen to me. Listen to me careful. Along with that, you turned loose your cigarettes. Yes, I did. Ain't got no use for them. No. You got saved. Yes, sir. A lot of letters. You know what your husband told me? He's a Holy Ghost preacher. Yes, he is. He said, there's a change in that woman. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> It's a change in him, too. You done done something for him. You done come God so much. Otherwise, move on up and let's get going. God done something for my home. God done something for your home. He brought us closer together. That's wonderful. Would you recommend anybody out there that's listening? There's a distance in the home. Or maybe a distance in them. Or maybe they need saving. Would this be the place you'd send them? Everybody. Everybody. Ain't shame to tell nobody about it. Glory to God. Let's oh, they tell me you're telling everybody comes in that hospital? Methodist Hospital. You tell them all, go to the Pax of Revival Center. If you're sick and the Lord will heal you, if you're lost, he'll save you. Oh, my God. Give her a good cap over. I got your literature all over the lobby. You what? I got your literature all over the lobby. So you got it all over the lobby. And all my tracks. Yes, all over the lobby. You fill that place full. Keep filling it. Keep filling it. Give her a good hand tonight. How many believe there's deliverance from the booze? Come here, sister. 
I just can't help but to get your testimony and that big smile that she's got. I want you to turn around the camera and get that smile. Amen. Jesus give you that. Yes, he did. You come here. How many years had you been on the booze? 20. 20 years on the booze. Couldn't kick it. Couldn't get rid of it. Oh, I just couldn't. No. Uh -uh. Try to do it on my own. I just kept, you know, going, going back off. I had to try Jesus, and I did. And when I did, oh, my God. Praise the Lord. I'm off of it. You're off of it. I'm off of it. No, you got Jesus. I got Jesus. I was smoking those cigarettes right behind each other. I mean, I was just all mixed up, all messed up. You was all messed up. All messed up. All messed but up. But now you're straightened out. I'm straightened out. I'm clean. Have you got joy in your heart? I got joy in my heart. Praise God. How many can see it? How many can see it? Shout it, sister. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Now listen. Used to when you'd walk by the bar and smell that stuff coming out the door, you kind of want to go in there. But now when you pass the bar doors, it stinks. Oh my God. I oh my God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Don't smell good no more. Mm. I got a boyfriend. I got to don't you pray for him, brother um Bob, because he is around with that stuff and I, it just makes me so sick. I just you know, it just making me You know righteousness has no fellowship with unrighteousness. A person that's sober don't like to mess up with drugs. <laughs> and I love him. I love him very much. But I just it's just that just making us just, you know, just Draw a line, honey. Draw a line. You better believe me. You better believe me. Draw a line, get in or get out. How many believe that's the way it goes? How many believe you can't compromise with the devil? Give the Lord a good cap offering. God bless your heart. Keep on shouting that you've got it. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to wake up and I want you to let these rafters rain tonight. Really give the Lord a good cap offering. All right. Every day. And Jesus healed me. Jesus healed your broken heart. Yes. And uh, all kind of problems. Raised in the Catholic Church, but come found the Holy Ghost. And boy, you are happy. Yes. I was Catholic and I was raising with nuns. Five years in convent. With nuns? With nuns. And come got the Holy Ghost. Yes. And now you're, you and your husband are number one track givers in this city. Putting out more tracks than anybody I know in this area. We go into the beaches. We go in all over. Sunday we went to the beaches and give a lot of people. And people got saved. Give them a good hand. Give them a good hand. Let's pray for her. Father, I pray a healing on her body tonight let Jesus make her whole and set her free liberate her now by the power of God in Jesus name amen praise the Lord all right you're healed give the Lord a good clap George give me a few of those and us some of the best musicians in Jacksonville. I'm proud of them. Do Ralph on that organ. The other night I was about to bust a rib to get up here and, and brag on this whole band we got up here. I won't tell you, God sent us some of the best musicians in Jacksonville. I'm proud of them. I think we ought to give them all a good hand. I just sat up here sometime and I said, Lord, I do believe we've got the best in Jacksonville. I don't know of another church that has a band that is as faithful as these are to us that comes here and is dedicated and plays and, and all for hours and hours if we want them to. They sit right here and just as faithful to play and sing and, and carry on the services. And I thank God for them. Praise God. Along the pathway of dark despair, all broken 
hearted, bowed down with care. I met the master and knew him there. He filled a longing down in my soul. I searched for him and knew not what I searched for. I longed for him and knew not what I longed for, but I found Jesus. Now I will search no more. He filled the longing down in my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. If you've been bruised by the chains of sin and you are searching for peace within, I know a Savior who'll make you whole and feel that longing down in your soul. I searched a him and knew not what I searched for. I long for him and I knew not what I longed for. Then I found Jesus. I knew that I would search no more. He filled that longing down in my soul. He filled that longing down in my soul. Give Jesus a good hand tonight. How many believe tonight, and we'll be praying for some sick, Now don't leave until I say the service is over because I've got a lot of things I want to do that's going to bless you. It's going to be for your benefit. How many believe this is the time of year to worship? You can go to heaven with a sick body but you can't go to heaven with a sick soul. The Bible said, I'm going to preach just a few minutes and then we're going to sing some, Ralph. Don't go too far. But the Bible brings out every day in the week what Jesus done before he went on trial. But Steve was preaching this morning on praises. And the victory in Jesus. That's what counts, having victory in Jesus. Now, Monday, I believe after Palm Sunday, he come riding that donkey into town. On Monday, he went outside the city limits, found the fig tree, and cursed the fig tree because it had no fruit on it. He looked at it. He expected to find some fruit on the fig tree, found no fruit on it, and cursed the fig tree, and the fig tree never brought forth no more fruit. All right? On Tuesday, they asked him, do your master pay tribute? Why, he went before the Pharisees, and the Pharisees began questioning him what he done, what he didn't do, trying to find fault with Jesus. Honey, we're still living in that time. They're still trying to find fault with Jesus. Would you clap your hands? I feel the victory tonight. On Wednesday, the Bible kind of kept it silent. No recordings of too much done on Wednesday. On Thursday, if you'll notice, that night is when they took him and put him on trial. He had the Passover with them, and he took them. Uh, they went outside there and found him and on the book of Cedron, the 18th chapter of the book of St. John. Uh, you find him there. They took him and put him on trial all night Thursday night. That was Thursday night. They put him on trial. Honey, he stood trial all night long. Friday morning, they got him up and they took him out uh, to crucify him on Golgotha's hill. And he suffered for my sins and your sins. How many thank God for this? How many thank God he done it? <laughs> David, not preaching but just a few minutes because I want us to get our palms and I want us to give him some praises. David, 
believed in blessing the Lord. You know, he started off the book of Psalms in the first chapter, in the first verse, he said, blessed is a man whose transgressions is forgiven and whose sins is covered. He said, he's like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. He said, his leaf wither not and shall bring forth his fruit in due season. Give the Lord a good cap offering. That's chapter one in verse one and two. All right. If you'll notice in chapter 28 of the book of Psalms, or chapter 32, bless it is a man whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins is covered. Now, if you notice that word blessed, that's the other man. He's speaking of God bless the other man. You always bless the other man. But brother, he said blessed is a man whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sins is covered. In the book of Psalms chapter 41 and verse one, he said blessed is a man, glory, who, listen, look straight at me tonight. Raise your hand. I felt the Holy Ghost speak. There's a person in pain a person in pain tonight and God said it's in their throat there's a growth in their throat if they'll stand up God said I'll heal you right now I felt the gift I can't override it God's anointing is in here clap your hands for the victory that's him right back there God's moving in the name of Jesus you're going to heal that man with his throat God, you're going to move that growth from this man's throat. And God, you're going to heal it in the name of Jesus. God, give it to him. Give him the victory. Honey, I feel the victory. Clap your hands. I feel the victory. Psalm chapter 41 and verse 1. He was speaking of blessed. Still preaching on blessed. The other man. He said, blessed is a man that considered the poor, for he shall deliver him in his time of trouble. All right? David was speaking of blessed. That's the other man. But brother, he went on in the book of Psalms, chapter uh, 103 and verse 1. He cut off that ED off of the end of it. And he said, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is with me. Lord, you bless the other man. You bless everybody. But now I need blessing myself. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Brother, in the chapter 104 and verse of one, he said, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. And honey, he moved on to chapter 105 and verse 37. He said, he brought them forth with silver and with gold. And there was not one feeble one among the tribes. He found out there was something for him. He quit saying blessing. He starts saying bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. In Psalms of chapter 105 and verse 37, he brought them forth with silver and with gold and there was not one a feeble one among their tribes you know what he done in Psalm chapter 106 the next verse oh glory he said praise the Lord praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 111 and verse 1 he started it off with praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 112 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 113 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 117 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 135 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 138 and verse 1 praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 146 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 
40 and 47 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 148 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in Psalm chapter 149 and verse 1 he said praise the Lord in the book of Psalms the last chapter in the book of Psalms with six verses in there he started off verse 1 praise the Lord chapter of verse 2 he said praise the Lord 150 and verse 3 praise the Lord and 150 and verse 4 he said praise the Lord and 150 and verse 5 he said praise the Lord in Psalms chapter 150 and verse 6 he said let everything that have breath praise the Lord and he said praise ye the Lord clap your hands I feel the victory glory wave your hands with praises tonight wave your hands with praises tonight oh glory while my organist comes glory oh let everything that have breath wave their hands and praise the Lord thank you Jesus God's moving in this place and God setting his people aflame in the Holy Ghost oh glory to God in the name of Jesus God's moving with fire in this place tonight praise ye the Lord glory while our organist come for just a minute tonight hallelujah we're going to start praising the Lord this being Palm Sunday I want everybody everybody to start a line and come around and go around and pick you up a palm pick you up a palm leaf and find your seat back come to, down the side aisles come down the middle aisles that's okay down the middle aisles and pick you up a palm leaf and go back to your seat come on glory glory come on everybody get your palm leaf Glory, pops of victory, I shall Everybody! Pops of victory, cries of glory. Go another way. Don't go back the same way. Pops of victory. Go around the auditorium. Going around this way. Going around this way. Glory, pops of victory. Get you one of them tonight. March for Jesus tonight. Let Go right on around. Pops of victory. Pops of glory. Pops of victory. I shall be. Go right on around. Pops of victory. Pops of glory. Pops of victory. I shall be. Go another way, honey. Come this way. Gods of glory. Wave your palms as you go around. To victory, I shall win. And palms of victory, palms of glory, palms of victory, I shall live and palms of Wave victory. your palms, change! Palms of glory, palms of victory, Go I right on around. Wave your palms, marching! Waving your palms tonight. Pots of glory, pots of victory, I shall win. Obey God tonight. 
Get your palm. And palm. Wave your palm, change. Palms of victory, I shall wave them. Glory. Get you one of them, keep going. Sing it. Get on your feet and wave your palms. Palms of glory, palms of victory, I shall wave. That's a good one. Come on, wave your hands.
sidelights. Come on, wave them palm trees. My God, leap for joy. Wave them palms and leap for joy. Leap for joy.
Wave them palm saints. palm and wave it one more time good for Jesus and say thank you Jesus Hosianna to the highest Hosianna to the highest thank God thank God thank God thank God and I've never felt so much glory in this place tonight oh somebody obey God somebody obey the Holy Ghost Some, that's it that's it obey God tonight saints God leap for joy and wave that palm leap for joy and wave that palm in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you may be seated and just keep your palm and carry it home with you put it under the bed put your feet on it put it between the mattresses under the carpet it's anointed how many believe it's anointed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God don't never let another tumor come on that baby's head. You told me to put this palm on it and God you'd keep her healed in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Clap your hands for the victory. God's moving in this place tonight. In the name of Jesus. My people that call by my name, did ye not know this is a time of worship this night? Did ye not know it's time to give my name praise, saith the Lord? Did ye not know this night, saith God, I'll be the God of the living and not the God of the dead. I'll be your God and you'll be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord your God. Clap your hands for the victory. Obey him. God said, I'm fixing to heal everyone in this, within their sight of blindness that their eyes are being dimmed and they're growing weak and they can't view the promised land. If they stand to their feet right now, my prophet's gonna pray and I'll open their eyes and they'll see clearly everyone that wants their eyes healed right now or stand up and my prophet is praying the prayer that you'll lose their sight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands. God's healing. Blindness. Dimness of the eyes. Blurriness. Glaucoma. 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 God's melting cataracts. They're running down their eyes or cheeks. God's restoring the sight to the blind. Wave your hands. Those that's not got glaucoma, you will never have it.
God said, praise me. And you'll never have it. Wave your hands and thank God for your good sight. Be seated. God said, the cause of the glaucoma, mostly sugar. And God said, every person in this building tonight that will stand up with my prophet while he waves his palm, I'm going to heal him of sugar. Every person in this building that's got sugar, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Let God heal you. Let God remove that sugar from your blood in your system tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as I smite that awful, dreadful disease of sugar, I pray God heal them. No letter one of them ever sugar ever come back to them or blur their vision in their sight. But God restore it. Right now, heal them of sugar. Let them contact their doctors and the doctors tell them they're healed of the sugar. Clap your hands for victory all over the tabernacle tonight. God said, everyone, this got any tumor on your body in any place and you want that tumor to vanish and God heal it. Stand to your feet. Anyone that's got a tumor, any place that God spoke to me about you, that you're going to heal your tumor if you'll obey God. God says you'll feel fight, but it'll be gone. I'll stay the hand of, of any doctor's knife, any physician's knife. You'll be healed with the power of God. Oh, go every tumor that's in their body will be healed in the name of Jesus. While we're speaking on this, to the ladies, God showed me there was some of them in the left breast is, has got some soreness in your left breast. And God even showed me into the, some of it to the right breast. Some of it got some soreness. While these are standing, to keep that from ever being a tumor, ever being a tumor, stand to your feet. Any soreness in your breast, stand to your feet. God, I curse every tumor. I curse the soreness that will never develop into a tumor. God, tonight they stood by faith. They'll never have cancer in their breast. They'll never lose their breasts. God, in the name of Jesus, make them whole. Wave your hands. I felt the victory. I felt the victory. Be seated. Every lady in this church house, some of it's already. Doctors have removed your female organs. Had a lady to come up on my parking lot last Monday. She said, I was in your church. Said over six years ago. And said, I just come out of surgery. And the doctors had removed my female organs. And said, you walked over to me and said, lady, in nine months, you will have a baby. And said, I told my sister's side of me, let's go. He's a false prophet. Let's get out of here. And she said, within 30 days or 45 days, she said, I began tightening up and swelling. And said, in 60 days, I went to the doctor and he says, you're pregnant. And I said, well, how could it be? He said, I don't know. That's up to you. But since you're pregnant, in nine months, she said, I had this little baby boy. And said, here's the results of your prophecy. And said, God, give me a brand new pair of female organs. Come on and clap your hands. I feel the victory. A lady might be here tonight with me to call me late last night. Three years ago, she was in my service. Doctors had removed her female organs. Coming in, I prophesied that you'll have a baby. And she said, I didn't want to believe you. But said, in nine months, said, I've got a beautiful little girl. And now I'm pregnant again. And the doctor says, I'm going to have twins. 
Clap your hands for the victory. Every lady that's in this church, even you've lost your female organs, they've been removed. You need to stand. God can restore them. And everyone that's not lost them, you need to stand up where cancer will never get in your female organs. Get on your feet. Have a lady in this church house. Stand up. Stand up. Stretch your hand towards me. Say, God, I'll never have cancer in my female organs. I'm healed right now. Leap for joy, you're healed. Leap for joy, you'll never have cancer in your female organs. You'll never die with cancer in your organ. Come on and leap for joy, leap for joy. Shake hands with somebody next to you and say, I'm healed. Had one man standing a few minutes ago when I was speaking of tumors in the breast. Had one black brother stand up. You say, why did he stand up? There's nearly as many men having tumors in their breast, or this is their women that's calling me up. How many believe Jesus heals a man as well as he heals a woman? Now give the Lord a good cap offering. God's moving in this place tonight. Now don't leave. You're sweet to the bone. I don't know why God told me this. After his resurrection, Peter went back fishing. And Jesus was on the shore and said, boys, have you caught anything? They said, no. Told all night again. He said, come on. He said, I got some bread and fish that I want to give you. And I'll give you some honeycomb. Glory to God. You know what God told me to do tonight? To give you some honey. Sweeten you to the bone. That God can give you miracles. I feel it tonight. Every one of you is going to get a piece of a graham cracker. And you're going to dip it in the honey. And you're going to eat it. And God's going to make you sweet to the bone. Clap your hands. I don't know what God told me to do this. Shum my my my. Come on, my, my, my. Come on, Ty. God, you're going to heal them. Glory. I felt it. God, you're going to restore them down into their bellies, down into their bowels, into their colons. You're going to heal them tonight when they eat that honey. And God, they take that manna, them crackers, vanilla wafers, graham crackers. It's manna. It's manna that come from above. And God said, you're going to dip it in honey. Natural honey. And going to put it to your lips. It says in your mouth, it'll be sweet. It might become bitter in your belly, but said, I'll cleanse you. I'll make you whole. I'll set you free. I feel God tonight. Clap your hands. I feel his anointing. God said an angel is over this tabernacle tonight. Said there's a pillar of fire over this place. Wave your hands. I feel God. In the name of Jesus. Say, tonight's my night. Tonight's my night. God's going to speak to several people tonight. This envelope that I passed a few months, a few minutes ago is for a month ahead which some of them are already turning them in. But the envelope I pass out tonight is for my radio ministry 
280 broadcasters per month. How many hear me on the radios? How many believe we're taking this area for God? How many believe we are invading Jacksonville? How many believe God has given me this city? They might as well fold up and come on. Clap your hands if you feel the victory. There's a lady here from Palatka. Yes. Stretch your hand, sister. God giving you a miracle on your job in Palatka, Florida. There's a man that's been over you and he's been afraid you're going to get his job. But since he's acted like he's acted you and mistreated you and abused you, you're going to get his job. Cap your hands. I feel the victory. And God said it's in a pup mill. And he's going to make this lady a foreman. Over 40 Two people I've seen in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. How many feel it tonight? How many feel it tonight? In the name of Jesus. God said, I'll bring you forth with silver and with gold, and they shall not be one of feeble one among your tribes. In the name of Jesus. Brother, I love you tonight, and you love God. I don't know if he's or not, but he hurts. I told a lady the other day she had cancer in her liver. And she said, no, I don't. She walked out the door. She died. Another man that I told her to come back last Sunday night. I said, you're hearing the last message you'll ever hear. He shook his head and went out the door. He's in the veterans hospital tonight, dying with double pneumonia in both lungs. Listen to me, honey. You can't play with a prophet. It'd be better you never got them doors than to think you're going to hoodwink a man of God. Oh, glory. Every one of you, if you're wise, wise, you'll jump up and run getting this line for $7 by next Sunday night. Please do so. Come on quickly. Play. Give us some good music. Give us some good music for $7. Everybody ought to do that.